double click on a processor to open the processor window and edit any parameters. Only one processor can be open at any time. Double clicking on a new processor will immediately switch to that processor. You will notice that in the top right of the window, the offline online indicator shows the status of the processor connection. The processor control window is very similar to the equivalent window in Martin Audio's ViewNet application, so should be immediately familiar to anyone with previous experience of using MLA, CDD Live, Wavefront Precision, Icon Amplifiers or the DX4.0 processor. There are tabs along the bottom to select either routing and delay, gains and mute, inputs A or B, and outputs either 1 to 4 for the DX0.4, or 1 to 6 for the DX0.6. There is a toolbar at the top of the window which remains visible regardless of which tab is selected. Load. This allows a complete system configuration to be loaded, useful for common configurations that have previously been saved or where an identical configuration is required on several processors. Save is used to save a complete configuration. Recall is used to recall one of the 32 system presets. Initially, these will be Martin Audio factory presets, but you can save your own presets to any of the locations to build up your own library of commonly used configurations. Copy is a time-saving function to transfer parameters between either the inputs or the outputs. Select either input or output, then the source and the destination. Note that you cannot select the same input or output as the source and destination. You can, however, select as many output channels as you would like to copy to. Finally, select which parameters you wish to copy. If you check all boxes, every parameter will be copied to the new destination. Settings. The settings menu has a host of parameters that can be edited to modify how the DX0.4 or DX0.6 operates. The options will be explored in a separate chapter in this video. Identify. This is used to clearly identify which processor you are currently editing. Clicking the identity icon will make all of the front panel LEDs flash for approximately 8 seconds on that processor. Login is used to switch between basic, expert and admin modes. Details are covered in the settings chapter. Input and output link. These offer a very useful way to speed up programming. It is very common for input and output channels to need identical parameters, particularly for stereo systems. By selecting link for the two inputs or any pairs of outputs, any changes made to any of the channels linked will be duplicated. For example, if output channels 1 and 2 are being used to drive the same sub cabinets, with 3 and 4 driving a mid-high speaker, Link output channels 1 and 2, enter the parameters that you need. Unlink 1 and 2 and link 3 and 4. Enter your mid-high cabinet parameters. And you're finished. You've only had to program two channels, but four have been edited, and you can be certain that your stereo system is matched perfectly left and right.